Hello everyone, are you ready for another Nuzlocking adventure? As today we are going back to get some more balls. Yes, and then we're going to continue moving forward with the game. Again. I don't, why? I feel like, I, so funny enough that we did, we have 50 episodes of this here. Daily Nuzlocke, which I do daily by the way. That's why it's called a Daily Nuzlocke, I guess. It's not in the video title, I just do it. Um, because I feel if it was actually, it's too much words for an actual, um, anyway, <laughs> what I was trying to say is, uh, we're fighting Team Rocket, uh, Dom needs training if he's gonna be able to take down this ice gem all himself, so basically it's the Dom show, where he is going around karate chopping fools left and right, he's almost at level, um, well he might turn into a machoke any day now, I think. But we'll see. Uh, let's see. I think I already went down there. I think I go here. I have not fought you. Hey, hey, feeling lucky, punk? Go ahead, take another step. We got traps set in the floor. I actually recently watched Dirty Harry. What a weird movie to watch nowadays. Not to say it's not good. It was good, but it comes from a very specific time in movies. Like, where you, have you ever seen, like, a movie? One, one good example is something like Goodfellas, where people will just, like, um, at the, like, the drop of a hat, drop, like, uh, racial epithets? Is that the right way of saying it? Um, Dirty Harry has a scene like that, which I feel comes out of nowhere, <laughs> where, like, one of the police officers just drops, like, seven different ones. Um, and in a way that's kind of made you be, like, it's really weird. You have to see Dirty Harry. It's like, it's supposed to, I guess, supposed to make you feel like, um, it's like, oh, do you hate my, not minorities, because they wouldn't call them that. Do you hate, like, um, I think they said Mexicans at the time. I can't remember. I did watch it recently, but I can't remember the exact wording of it, so I don't want to put uh, words in their mouth. But he's like, oh, he's like, well, no, he hates, and he gives, like, every single known racist word in the time it was, uh, made. To say like, oh, he hates everyone, Jews, and then come. Jews is the only one I'm comfortable saying because Jew isn't really a. Well, there is a more offensive way. Why am I talking about this anyway? Dirty Harry. <laughs> um, good movie, but that one scene was like, wow, man, what the hell? But it uh, definitely gives a view into like, um, because that's San Francisco. And the San Francisco it paints is different from the San Francisco I know. So it's kind of like, wow, did, it used to be like this way? Was it really just like dudes kidnapping people and demanding $10,000 and then hijacking buses? And the answer is no, but also sometimes yes. It's like when, if you ever seen um, Taxi Driver, if you see its version of New York, it like, it doesn't exist anymore. At least as far as I know, that version of New York has kind of been um, cleaned up a bit. So like the dirty one where there was like a porno theater in every other street, um, that kind of New York just doesn't exist anymore because they had to clean it up. Or one of the mayors cleaned it up. I forget which one exactly cleaned it up. And let me guess, it's a Voltorb. Oh, I can catch this one. No, damn it, it's a Geodude. I already have one of you. So I'm just gonna karate chop you and call it a day. Please don't have... He would have self-destruction, right? Oh, don't use it, you son of a bitch. <gasps> okay, it's fine. That's a baby pop-pop. What I was afraid of was self-destruction. Self -destruction. I wonder if I can catch a Pokemon here, then. I really feel like this is them telling me don't go this way. Which, okay, fine. I'll go the other way. Um... I think it's down here. I'll go this way. Find the whatever switch they need me to activate and activate it. Oh yeah, nugget. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, like it paints a very different way of life that just isn't really how we know it anymore. It's weird to think about. <sighs> But yeah, Dirty Harry, that was alright. I've been watching a good amount of movies. Um, some of them repeats of um, movies I'd already seen. For example, um, Goodfellas, I just watched before recording, which I really like Goodfellas. 
I mean, I since I first seen it, I've 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 loved uh, Goodfellas. Um, a friend of mine, when I told him that I had never seen Goodfellas, took me to a screening of it in in the Chinese theater here in California, and with the with the original millimeter of it, I believe. So I got to see a really like kick-ass version of that movie, <laughs> better than like the um, single screen thing you can get it from a computer there's certainly like some movies that are just like you need to be in a theater to experience not to say like every movie has to be seen in a theater because i certainly don't think that but there is a certain amount of movies where you just go like this would have been awesome to see in a theater um especially with the right crowd which thankfully um the crowd i went to go see um goodfellas was just there to see a really good movie it's not like one of those things like rocky horror picture no one's throwing spoons at the screen for um, for Goodfellas, <laughs> that'd be silly. Like every single time Joe Pesci says uh, says fuck, throw for a spoon, you would be run out of spoons. The there's not enough spoons to contain the amount of fucks in that movie. Um, but yeah, uh, Goodfellas I think is one of the very few examples of a movie where I can actually kind of relate. Isn't the right word, but I do feel usually some form of sympathy for um, the characters in it even though they are dirt bags for the most part um, it's really weird it's it's very rare that I actually see a movie where I like the dirt bags in it because I just maybe it's just because as I've gotten older I just like have no appreciation for dirt bags anymore um, they have to be a they have to be a very specific kind of dirt bag for me to like them um, a good example is Tuco from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, who is not a good human being, but I love Tuco because Tuco has multi-dimensions to him where he's like, yeah, he's a terrible outlaw. He's done so many bad things, and the movie is never like... Sure, the movie kind of makes fun of the fact that all oh, like he's been um, accused of so many crimes. And trust me, the crimes list of his is very hard to ignore. It's not like with some other characters where you're like, well, I only can really base it off of the crimes I've seen them commit on screen. For Tuco, they straight up like list every single bad thing he's ever done <laughs> in his life. So it actually makes it very tough when you hear like, ooh, some of the stuff you've done, Tuco, is not good. Um, but I don't know, I really like his character. And that's another, that's a... Tuco is Mexican and played by a, a Jewish man. Who, um, I think I love his performance of it. You can definitely hear the parts of him. It's weird to say, like, oh, he acts... He's not acting Hispanic. He's acting, um, of kind of, like, over-the-top Jewish in a way. But no, he's not really acting that way either. He's playing an over-the-top character, and he just so happens to be Jewish. But at the same time, uh, he's also saying Spanish words. But it's very believable, I think, his Tuco performance. I actually thought he was uh, Mexican for an extremely long time. Um, it wasn't until I actually looked it up because I was like, well, I've been burned about, about this before uh, because other Hispanics, most famously Lou Diamond Phillips, who has played two Hispanics in his, uh, two very good Hispanic roles, I should mention, of uh, Richie Valens and the Mexican kid from Stand and Deliver. Uh, he is technically, technically, he is Filipino, I think. So it's kind of like, eh, close enough. Here, can you, you're brown. I, I'll, I'll take that. Um, another good example is the dude in West Side Story who plays the main um, girl's uh, brother. Who I can't remember the name of, who I really do like in that movie, though. Let me quickly go here. Oh, son of a bitch. There was a way to go all the way to the freaking start. It was a pain in my butt. Um, but all the, um, at least all the main actors, because the West Side Story is supposed to be about the Jets versus the Sharks, and I believe the Sharks are all, is supposed to be a Puerto Rican gang, but <laughs> the, all the Puerto Ricans in that movie were played by, um, Greeks, very tanned Greeks, uh, because I want to say Natalie Wood played the sister, and she is supposed to be Puerto Rican, and there's nothing about her that is Puerto Rican. Not to say there wasn't Puerto Rican people in the production, they just didn't really play the main rules. Uh, are you alright? Oh. Oh, that's good. Okay. Sounds good. Ooh, there's a Voltorb. I can actually catch a Voltorb now. 
Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a good amount of rules where the person has been able to convince me that they're Hispanic. There's obviously a lot of people who are like, oh, I'm playing Mexican and it's very clearly they're not, and therefore, but their performance is bad, that's why I'm able to tell. With a good actor, you're usually able to tell. Obviously, nowadays, the times are different. If you could, if you have a Hispanic person as a character, hire a Hispanic person. What the hell are you doing? Back then, it was different because they were more racist. Uh, <laughs> so I give them slight leeway. Only because of their like intense racism of the entire thing. It was very hard to get anything up and running. So it's not like... Though, Stand and Deliver was in the freaking 90s. Whatever. Uh, Edward James almost was in that movie, so that's good enough. I also do realize that Dom took a confusion from this event and and is still standing pretty tall. So I feel pretty good about Dom. Don't get crit, Dom, after I mention that. Okay. Good. Good job, Dom. I think, like, the fact that he's able to take two psychics, it shows that Dom is actually at the fusion of the person who named him Dom and Dominic Toretto from the Fast and the Furious franchise, because he is that strong. Grr yourself, sir. All right. I'm going to go back to heal, because Dom is a little bit injured. Um, so join me next time for the next exciting installment of the Pokemon Nuzlocke Silver. Um, that's the end of today's video. Yeah, that's my basic way. Tell me how you feel about current movies. <laughs> I'll read your comments. I read all the comments from the Pokemon Nuzlocke ones. All right. Well, no, I read every comment I get. Even the ones that uh, people have delete. By the way, if you delete your comment, I can't see it. <laughs> it's like I still get a message that you sent it. You can't put the genie back in the bottle. Anyway, that's the end of today's episode. See you in the next one. Goodbye.